Hello, my name is Randy Rolfe and I'm president of the Institute for Creative Solutions and I'm sharing foundational concepts about vibrant health through natural living. And what I want to talk about today is mental health. There was a wonderful study last year in Australia uh, with about 80 people who had been diagnosed with depression and their conclusions were that the diet can make a huge difference for getting rid of depression. So they took um, these people who had been diagnosed with depression and instructed them on a better diet. And when they started, they uh, found that most of the people with depression that they brought in as possible subjects had poor diets and they only uh, excluded like 10 or 15 percent who were already eating a good diet and some of them were on medication some of them weren't and what they found was a significant improvement over three months 12 weeks in those people who got dietary advice now it wasn't just the uh, the support that they got from interviewing with someone because the control group they also interviewed and gave social support but not dietary recommendations but they had the same kind of sessions and support and caring attention but they did not that group did not get the same results as those people who had a better diet and it was the same kind of diet that we've been recommending all along for vibrant health or natural living with uh, avoiding the toxins, the chemicals in our food by eating whole organic food as much as possible and unprocessed as possible so that you get all the vitamins and minerals that are supposed to come along with good food. And uh, what they found particularly was uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, high quality fat, and low sugar, uh, not a lot of salty fried things, and good sources of vitamins and minerals like the vegetables and the uh, good quality uh, animal products like a dairy or cheese or, or uh, meat. And they did emphasize lean meat, which as you've heard from me many times is not necessary if you're starting with healthy animals, but um, certainly that didn't hurt their results with getting rid of depression or, or reducing the symptoms significantly. So both by objective assessment and um, subjective assessment, they found that there was a much lowered incidence of depressive symptoms. So that's very exciting. That was a year ago, and there's been lots more studies. And uh, so their recommendation at the end was that people that are treating, you know, health providers that are treating people that have depression really should include good dietary advice, basically unprocessed foods as much as possible and avoiding the, all the chemicals that come with major food processing. And uh, many more of good vegetables and fruits, much, much less sugar and refined grains. So um, that's, that's nothing new, but it is exciting that the psychiatric community and mental health community is starting to realize that diet is a huge component of getting back to mental health. So that's it for today. Have a great week.